November 12th, sold inventory to Aldar Inc. on account, credit terms 210, net 30, shipping terms FOB shipping point. The inventory arrived at the customer's location on November 16th. In addition, the cost of the inventory sold to Aldar Inc. was $4,500. When should we recognize revenue? Recognition of revenue is based on the shipping terms. This was FOB shipping point, so ownership transferred at the doors of Peach Limited's location. At that moment on November 12th, ownership transferred to Aldar. Therefore, we have to record revenue on November 12th. Let's record the entries. Notice we're not doing the entry on November 16th. That's because ownership transferred the moment that Peach Limited put the goods on the truck at their location. What did the company get? The legal right to collect cash from a customer in the future. Accounts receivable. $7,500. What did they give away? They gave away a product. That indicates we can claim revenue. Sales revenue. $7,500. That was the sales entry to the sales revenue account for the selling price, but we need the cost entry to the cost of goods sold for the cost of inventory. What did we get? We got the use of inventory to help us generate revenue. That's an expense account, cost of goods sold. $4,500. What did we give away? Inventory, which is reduced by a credit. Let's record it in the T accounts. Accounts receivable increases by $7,500. Sales revenue increases by $7,500. Cost of goods sold increases by $4,500. Inventory decreases by $4,500. Let's move on. November 17th, the appropriate party paid freight costs to ship cheap ink, $250. Who's the appropriate party? FOB shipping point indicates that the receiver owns the inventory, is responsible for the inventory while it's in transit, and will pay all shipping costs. So on November 17th, we, Peach Limited, who are the shippers, have no responsibility at all. No entry. Moving on. November 19th. Aldar Inc. discovers that 20% of the inventory was the wrong model color, so they returned it. Question mark for the value. Again, November 19th, the cost of the inventory returned from Aldar. Question mark. Is Aldar Inc. permitted to return this inventory? Because don't forget, it was shipped FOB shipping point, so as soon as it hit the doors of Peach Limited, it became the responsibility of Aldar. Can Aldar return this inventory? And the answer is absolutely. The fact that the inventory was the wrong model and color indicates that the error was the responsibility of Peach Limited and therefore Peach Limited has to accept the return. What's the value? $7,500 times 20% $1,500. In addition, $4,500 times 20% $900. Let's do the entry. Remember, we're going to reverse the original entry, but we're going to use the sales returns and allowances account instead of sales revenue. November 19th. What did the company get? They got a return, which is going to reduce revenue. $1,500. What did they give away? They gave back the customer's IOU, so accounts receivable will decline. $1,500. This is the reversal of the sales entry at the selling price, but we have to reverse the cost of goods sold entry at the cost of inventory. What did the company get? They got back their inventory. It has future economic benefit, so we have to put it back in the inventory account, $900. What did the company give away? Well, they gave back the right to claim an expense because they no longer claimed revenue. Cost of goods sold, $900. Let's update the T accounts. Accounts receivable is credited $1,500. Sales returns and allowances are debited $1,500. Cost of goods sold is credited $900. Inventory is debited $900. Let's go to the next entry. 
November 20th, the appropriate party pays the return shipping costs. The shipping company was again Ship Cheap Inc. $125. Who should pay the return costs? Aldar didn't make a mistake, but Peach Inc. did. Therefore, Peach Inc. is responsible for paying for the return shipping costs, $125. They have used a shipping company. They haven't actually generated revenue, they've reduced revenue, but that is still a business expense necessary in order to keep your customers happy. November 20th. What did the company get? The use of a shipping company to return the inventory. Shipping expense. $125. What did they give away? They gave away cold hard cash. $125. Let's update the T accounts. Debit shipping expense 125. Credit cash 125. Next entry. November 21st. Hayden Inc. pays the outstanding accounts receivable balance. Let's do the three step process. Step 1. Does Hayden get to take the discount? What was the date when ownership transferred? It was November 6. What was the credit terms? 115 net 30. So Hayden had 15 days to take the discount. Add the two together, you got 21. Hayden had until November 21st to take the discount. What is today's date? That indicates that Hayden can take the discount. Step 2. What is the amount of the accounts receivable? We take the original invoice, subtract any returns, and that's the amount of the AR. The original invoice was $6,300. The return was one third of that, 2,100. So the amount of the accounts receivable is $4,200. Step three, what's the amount of the cash? And what's the amount of the discount? We take the amount calculated in step two. Multiply it by 100% minus the credit terms, 1%. 4,200 multiplied times 99%, $4,158. That's the amount of cash that we're going to be paid as Peach Limited. What's the discount? $4,200 minus the amount of cash, that's equal to $42 in the discount. We can now use this information in our entry. November 21st. What did we get? Cold hard cash. 4,158. What did we give away? The accounts receivable because we no longer have a right to collect the cash from our customers. $4,200. Where does the difference go? It reduces the revenue because you actually didn't get to collect $4,200 anymore. You only got to collect $4,158. So what did we get? We got a reduction in the amount of our revenue. Sales discounts. This can also be called cash discounts, $42. Let's update the T accounts. Cash increases by $4,158. Accounts receivable goes down by $4,200. And sales discounts? We're going to have to create this account. Debit $42. Moving on to the last transaction. November 30th. Aldar Inc. pays its outstanding accounts receivable balance. Let's do the three step process. Is Aldar permitted to take the discount? When did ownership transfer? November 12th. What are the terms? 210. Aldar can take the discount up until midnight November 22nd. What is today's date? Aldar cannot take the discount. Do we now stop at step one? And the answer is no. We have to move on to step two. Remember, we take the original invoice, 7,500, and we deduct the return, $1,500. Aldar owes us $6,000. Do we do step three? No, we don't, because there is no discount permitted. Let's do the entry. November 30th. 
What did we get? We got cold, hard cash. $6,000. What did we give away? We gave back the customer's IOU, represented by accounts receivable. $6,000. Let's put it in the T accounts. Debit cash, $6,000. Credit accounts receivable, $6,000. We can now add up the T accounts. 22630 Inventory, 18360 Supplies, no change. Accounts receivable. If we've done it right, it should equal zero, and it does. Sales revenue, 13800 Sales returns, 3600 Sales discounts, cost of goods sold, $6,390. Shipping expense, $395. No change to retained earnings or common shares. If we wanted to, we could now create a multiple step income statement for Peach Limited. Do all customers receive credit terms automatically? Well, that's a question for the next video.